Hey guys, that's an exclusive bringing you guys some single back bunch action here uh, versus specifically the cover three from the three four normal that a lot of people love running. You know, everybody loves run cover three. I love running cover three. It's very safe defense. But single back bunch, I have uh, discovered here from the Niners playbook, just tears the cover three to pieces. And uh, I'm sure this also works for cover two invert as well. Actually, I did lab it against cover two invert. First play I'm going to show you guys is called Flood. You're basically just going to run this play stock and you're going to wait for Marlon Brown to sit down in the tender area. So as you can see, clear out, take every, uh, Tori takes everybody deep with him, including he keeps um, Patrick Willis to the inside. Dennis Pitta goes to the flats to take Ahmad Brooks with him, or I'm sorry, Antoine Mathé. And then Marlon Brown can just sit in that little tender area. Actually, it's not even a little tender area. It's a giant tender area. Like, there is nobody even near him, man. If you need five yards, you need ten yards. So you know someone's going to be running cover three. Man, I would go with that play every single time until they until they start showing that they're either going to use her Willis or uh, they're going to do something else crazy, like maybe with the free safety or something like that. So here's a couple more run-throughs of it. You got that tender area right there. You can just hit Marlon Brown, your slot receiver, for an easy gain. So that's one play you can do it. That's one look you can give. The next look I want to do, you can also run spacing. I'm going to show you, um, I can't remember what play I run next here. Ah, flanker drive is a great play for beating cover three. All right, so the, the progression here is you first want to look at Torrey Smith. If Torrey Smith draws the linebackers down with him, then the play works pretty pretty perfectly. You're going to see Torrey Smith, one, he takes the middle linebacker, then he takes the other middle linebacker down with him. So if Bowman doesn't come down with him, you can hit Torrey Smith there, or you can have Steve Smith over there hold Alden Smith out. That way you give Torrey a little room to work with. But uh, I'm just running at stock. So then if Bowman comes up, you just hit the guy behind him. And then uh, to even further this, if Willis, if someone controls Willis and Willis follows Marlon Brown, then you've got Justin Forsett open in the flats there. So as you can see, there's another catch from Marlon Brown, followed by a hit stick. That's not going to feel very well. But uh, here we go again. I'm going to hold it and try to hit Justin Forsett. He gets hit sticked because you're playing the Niners, and that's just how it works, I guess. Uh, if yeah, if anyone's played online against the Niners in the past five years, you'll know that every single person on their defense has 99 hit power, or it seems like, and they can all force fumbles. So as as I show here, you can audible out, you can motion out Torrey Smith and do funky stuff with him too. But it's a great cover three reader because you've got a quick, you've got a quick read, um, a short, a longer read, and then uh, your last read is the check down to for set or you can force the wheel route to Dennis Pitta which is a great man beater as well um, I'm gonna quickly go over the uh, spacing I can't remember what it's called spacing switch spacing switch is just like spacing but it gives you a little bit more consistent it's just the same concept you're gonna clear clear and then Pitta is gonna get the the space to catch um, this play I would run shorter short down situations um, you've got that backside slant by Steve Smith was a great man coverage beater. So if you think someone's going to play man coverage against you, it's a great man coverage beater as well. So there's a quick breakdown of uh, spacing switch. Uh, lastly, guys, this is the play you run when people start to not respect the deep ball. This is called Seattle. All you're going to do is put Torrey Smith on a fade route. You can put him on a go route, but it's more consistent on a fade route. And you're just going to go like this, and you're going to load and let Flacco just bomb it deep. Boom. Touchdown. Every time, pretty much. Every single time. The only time this play has not worked for me is going to be the next time I run it right here. So you're going to see the cornerback bails out and then has to flip around. But on this play, he bails out and then, boom, gets some sort of turbo animation and, you know, whatever. But uh, he stops it there, but this next play... Actually, the next two throws, you're going to see the importance of Joe Flacco's deep ball accuracy because it sucks. So once again, Torrey beats him deep. Flacco sucks at throwing. But you get the point, guys. He's open deep. I don't even think you need 95 speed, but he's open deep. So if you guys, are, if you guys add this to your playbook, it's great for beating cover three. Yeah.